I envision this traveling circus in domes and we travel around and it's this amazing environment where during the day you take classes and you take yoga and you learn new skills and uh, teachers come in and teach ancient crafts and about alien life forms and everything and then at nighttime everyone just dances and celebrates together. The way that I was inspired to change my life and create a new pathway. The liquefaction process. During this liquefaction process, though, something magical happens. The very aptly named imaginal cells start to appear. Now, these cells vibrate at a different frequency than the caterpillar. So the caterpillar's old and dying immune system recognizes these cells as the enemy, and they start to attack but the imaginal cells keep coming and they start to collaborate and start partnerships. They communicate with each other. They join in groups and then the groups in clusters. And soon, together, they create the butterfly. And the butterfly is a generator of life. It pollinates flowers. I started to see that we could no longer be the caterpillars here on Earth that the liquefaction process had become, and that we must start our own personal inner metamorphosis from the all-encompassing, ravaging caterpillars that we have been consuming, 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 to the epic butterfly, flying, spreading our wings, working in collaboration, working together, pollinating flowers. Yes. The time for metamorphosis is now. And there is truly only one person that can save this world. And that person is us. Thank you. <laughs>
And in the first couple of days, I actually sank deep inside my body and found myself floating down that infamous white hallway. And believe me, it is the most mystical, magical hallway. And I didn't want to leave. I was floating down it, feeling absolutely in bliss, all of my pain behind me, and just seeing white light in front of me. And then all of a sudden, my young son's face came in front of me in total shock and despair. His eyes popped out of his head and his little face saying, Mommy, don't go. Now, I've adopted him. So in his short little life, he's already known more pain and loss than most people know in an entire lifetime. So for him, I came back. I came back into my dying body. I fought my way back. And I laid there thinking, OK, now what? And as I laid there, everything I knew about Mother Earth came to me. Suddenly, I was like her. I was toxic like her. I remembered that as a young girl, I was a scuba diver. And I, I lived in the Caribbean. And I used to scuba dive. And the coral there was epic and beautiful. And the fish were magnificent. But several years ago, I had returned there. And all I saw beneath the sunlit surface was death and decay and plastic and trash. So when I heard that the Great Barrier Reef of Australia had been declared nearly 90% dead, I knew it was true. And when I heard that an oceanographer had revealed that the oceans will be suffocated without oxygen by 2030, I knew it was true. And then I started thinking about my own life. I started thinking about how I was impacting Mother Earth. I remembered hearing that the microfibers from our clothing were ending up in the ocean and killing the plankton that the great whales live off of. I remembered seeing that fracking was, was making all our water toxic and that when oil spills happen, they actually use toxic chemicals to sink the oil to the bottom so that we can't see it anymore. All of the things that I'd heard and known came back into my sphere and I could see it all. And then I had to take a good look at myself. And as I lay there dying, I realized that my toxic body that I was blaming somebody else for, I was doing the same thing to Mother Earth by the... I'm really excited to be here, share a little part of my journey with you. I am a continent rule breaker, so I always like to do uh, exactly what I'm told not to do. It just falls that way for me. So I'm gonna uh, speed through this for you and just give you a little piece of the journey for me. So I believe that we have all come here. I'm always asking the big questions. And uh, the question that's been rattling through my mind my whole life is why are we here? What is the real purpose? What is the purpose of my life? What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know if any of you have asked yourself those questions, but I have many times. And what I've come to is that I believe we're here to pen our story, to add our verse to the song of the universe. And I believe that each one of us is born with a legend waiting to be birthed out of us. So this is a little journey of how I found my way on the path to singing my song. Is, you know, my heart and soul. Like, this is, this festival means so much to me. Being able to create a sacred space for all of you to come together and to dance and celebrate and play means so much to me. You've come here to gather with like-minded people to fill yourself back up again. And you're going to leave here with all this renewed energy that you're going to be able to take out into the world. And I want to inspire you to, um, to go out there and create magic in the world. If you look someone in the eyes, no one can lie while they're looking you in the eyes. So if you look someone in the eyes, every, that communication will be pure. And, and that is true, and it goes beyond that. It's not just that it, that it, um, that it breaks down the boundaries of, of truth. 
it also fills you. It's our, it's like our way of looking, reconnecting on a soul level. It, it's like it releases the tension that we feel being inside these flesh vessels that we're traveling in and allows us to go super deep with someone and remember who we are as spirit beings. I came up with a three minute um, rule one time, which was when something bad happened to me, parking ticket, breakup, broken something or other, lost phone, anything like that, I, I would have three minutes to mourn about it and then I had to move on. Because literally, anything beyond three minutes, th th that thing is no longer hurting you, it's you hurting you. Anything beyond those three minutes is...